uh, say something live. But uh, other than that, let's move on to the next topic of the day, which is the news that I got to fix that, but I'll, I'll fix it later. The news that uh, Matthew Perry, the cause of death, you said that that came out mm -hmm. uh, recent uh, today. Was it was it today or earlier today? I think today? it was today. So a couple of months ago, what was it? A couple, like a month or two ago, he passed away. It's been like two months or so, like two or three months. months. Matthew Perry, uh, an actor from uh, Friends. Uh, you, you, you would say Matthew Perry. Yes, your your favorite movie is that one that he did with uh, uh, Salma Hayek. Fat fools rush in. I yeah, love that movie. <laughs> that's your favorite. That's your Matthew uh, Perry uh, thing. I'm a I'm a Friends guy. The uh, besides Friends, the other thing that I like from Matthew Perry. Uh, oh man, he 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 had a short lived. NBC show where he was like working behind the scenes on it was like a drama like a producer is a producer on a drama show it was great it was great I thought it was it was uh, underrated but anyway I can't even remember the name of it but for, obviously friends Chandler Bing was the man uh, I'm not a medical professional that's that's you you you're the uh, you're the registered one over here what was the cause of death that was uh, released out and what are your thoughts on it what what is what did it tell you um, it said he died from um, the acute effects of ketamine. Mm -hmm. um, that he was taking these ketamine infusions for anxiety and depression, mm -hmm. like under under a physician's care, because um, ketamine is a it is a an addictive type drug. Yeah. But he was t doing those treatments under a physician's guidance. Um, it, I guess it's a no. I, did, I wasn't aware, but I guess it's a known treatment for anxiety and depression. These IV infusions. But they're saying that those treatments only last in your system just a few hours. So his last treatment was supposedly like a week or two before that yeah. so it wouldn't he would not have still had it in his system from that infusion so we're not really sure what i mean he said he'd been sober for 19 months so but uh, overall you said a lot of th a lot of people online uh with their conspiracies and whatnot they were thinking because he was kicking the, the his addiction. He was getting uh, better. People have this uh, uh, this imagination uh, that or this feeling that once you it's like it's like uh, being addicted to I, I don't know. Uh, it's it's not like having uh, an addiction to like something like corn. You know what I'm saying? I can, I'm not gonna say the real word because we're streaming on so many platforms. Don't know what's gonna be too sensitive. And then when you just stop watching it, then you know you you feel like you're 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 uh you're getting better mentally or something like that when that, whenever it's like physical addictions like it's like smoking drinking and uh drugs and things like that you were telling me that it just because you might not have not you might have maybe kicked the habit and you've beaten your addiction and maybe it's been years but that doesn't mean your body fully recovers into the reverts back to the state that it would be at whatever age you are like like if let's say you were at a weakened state, you're in your forties, but you have the uh, the the health of a, an eighty year old, and then you stop doing what you're doing, and then you go back to having the health of a forty year old. It doesn't like it doesn't. You said it doesn't work that way. You're still at a weak. I mean, obviously, you're going to have improvement yeah. if you stop doing the things, but it doesn't necessarily depends on how long the abuse long happened. And that you don't necessarily just go back to everything just disappears. Yeah, he w it was well known that he had. Uh, COPD, um, mm -hmm. chronic obst obstructive pulmonary disease, so his severe effects to his heart and his lungs mm -hmm. from not just his drug abuse, but he was a very, very heavy, heavy smoker. Yeah. So, um, I mean, that takes its toll. Yeah. Just because people may not get cancer doesn't mean they don't get other effects from smoking. Right. Um, he had, I guess it says, diabetes. Uh, what else they said is history. It was, just, but it was multiple issues that it wasn't just one thing. And and with what you were saying, with the amount of time, the the length of time where he was uh, abusing uh, drugs and things like that. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's great that he was getting his life back together, but but 
him him having a cardiac uh, moment or anything like that was well, would they're not, saying would the, not have been the, a surprise. The, I mean, back when we thought it was right. that, it would not have been a surprise. No, because he would have been at a well. They said state. the the main contributing factor is this ketamine, mm -hmm. and the and they're not sure at this point how he how he had it in his system because, like I said, his no last known treatment that he was receiving at this under a physician's care yeah. was like a week and a half prior that would not still be in his system. So they don't know what was the manner that he got ketamine in his system that day. Was he back on drugs? Was he doing another treatment, but it was off oh, the like record? Like the mystery of whether or not he might have fallen back off the wagon. Or yeah, maybe we, don't, it was we just, don't know. Yeah. Um, but he was on a lot of other medications that for, you know, not drug abuse not necessarily drug abuse, but I mean, he has mental health issues, anxiety, you know, things that he'd been dealing with, and people take medications for that, but they don't always necessarily mix well with with other things. Mm -hmm. um, who, you know, who really knows? Yeah. Wonder uh, he was also on a med. It's buf. It's, uh, it's hard to say. Bupropenorphine. Mm -hmm. It's a medication that. They give addicts to help them wean off of using drugs. Yeah. Um, it is a an addictive drug. It's it can be an addictive drug itself, but it's used in the treatment of getting people off of heavy drugs. So it would that part that would not be unusual for him to take be taking necessarily since mm -hmm. he's was trying you know he was trying to. Stay sober. He yeah. may be on a, a regimen of that me type of medication, but um, the yeah. main cause was the ketamine. Uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm glad you were. That's why I, uh, when that when the topic came around uh, again, I was like, you know, if I was just, uh, doing this by myself, and if you weren't uh, going to be here, I was like, you know, I'm like, I don't. I know we don't give medical advice on this show or anything like that. We're not no, doing that. But, I mean, but I, since she seen, has a background in nursing, I would know Joy would know the, the definitions of certain things better than me. And uh, so that's why that's why I'm glad that you were here to, uh, to talk mean, to me about it. I mean, what most people that are, you know, are seeing this today are, are a lot of people are, they're not really sure what to think because mm -hmm. knowing that he, you know, was just very open about being sober for what I think nineteen months. This possibility meaning that meaning that maybe he was back on drugs and we didn't know. Yeah. Saddens people a lot. I mean, you know, they may, they feel really sad about that. Or if he was doing some sort of side treatment, then you obviously could yeah be concerned like um where was he get what what was I mean you know yeah. like in the Michael Jackson you know there was a doctor who yeah was help yeah give, give illegally him, give, doing give these, these treatments yeah. that he shouldn't have been doing it's like we don't was he getting some sort of side treatment that was off the yeah. record that we don't know well, about yeah, that like, we don't we don't know about it yet but uh, I guess it all uh, come out and uh, we'll we just have to find out uh, if that's the case or not. All right, um, share your thoughts on that, guys. I mean, like I said, if you're a Matthew Perry fan, uh, share your thoughts on on everything that's that's going on with the news that uh, the update on on uh, the cause. I mean, of his overall, death. it's just a sad situation. Just, overall, you know, I mean, yeah. he struggled for a very, very, very long time, and it just makes it a very an even more sad story. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, moving on to the next time. Before I move on to the next topic, let me. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, like, and comment your thoughts on this topic or any topics that you think that we should talk about in upcoming videos. Also, you can follow us at T3 Medias on Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and we also have a T3 Media Studios podcast where we post our movie reviews and episodes of The Rundown. Till next time, guys.